<laughs> I've been a part of softball for, oh God, like 14 years maybe. It's traumatizing almost to think about not having that anymore. To not, to think about not having all of these people in your life that that are just like so close to you. Like it's, it, it's a second family almost. It's, it's indescribable to explain how close a team can get in such a short amount of time. I hit high school and I met these really great group of, like this great group of girls like on my softball team that they didn't care if I was or not. I had, I, I mean, at this point, I still didn't know that I was gay either, but like nobody ever poked fun at it and nobody ever made jokes about it or things like that. And even though I was kind of always like off kilter and a little bit weird, they always just said like, oh, that's Lauren. Like, it's no big deal. Like, mm -hmm. that's just who she is and we love her for it. So, I mean, once I got to, to ninth grade and, and my freshman year of high school, it's, it just kind of totally turned my world around and it's just, it's been great since then, honestly, <laughs> like to, to be able to feel that I can be myself around whoever I want to be, and it's just, it's definitely life-changing. Tex. Yeah. Oh, Texas! Texas is awesome! Texas is awesome! Um, I've been kind of discovering my own gender, and like, not necessarily like my own, but like discovering how I feel about gender and my outlook on gender, and kind of that I'm more gender fluid. Is like it like I, guy form or just like masculine you? Or like what's the plan? Guy form, like that's what I call it. Like it's, it's the more male me, I guess. I don't really classify myself as in the binary, I guess, of man and woman. What about Bryce? What do you guys think of Bryce? Yeah. Have we talked about this before? Where like with preferred pronouns and things like that? Like Yeah, you were really drunk. Oh, probably. <laughs> because I get so scared, like I said. like. Like, I was texting one of my good friends, who I met through softball, of course, um, the other day, and she lives in Colorado, and she's, like, a, a major LGBT activist, and um, she, she's just, like, a very big social activist, and, like, I knew she would be okay with me being gender fluid and me wanting, like, they, them as my preferred pronouns, but, like, I had to text her about it, and, like, at the dead of night, so she would read it the next day, so that way I wouldn't have to, like be there because I was, I felt so judged still and like thinking of her not being in my life was such a difficult thing for me. So like it's it's just like a really, always coming out is just always going to be difficult I feel like, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. But it's just something you got to do to be you. Always got to try and be authentic, so. <laughs> Ew, I actually don't want to see myself in that. Oh, Do you like that? One. I kind of dig it, yeah. Yeah. It looks pretty good. <laughs>